Uh, my name is uh, Joe Garbrandt. I'm from New Philadelphia, Ohio. Marijuana use, and then from marijuana to clear to heroin, methamphetamines. The longer that I was using drugs, I mean, I lost jobs. Um, I threw away a lot of good job opportunities. There's been multiple times where I've overdosed, and then there's multiple times where I've ended up in the hospital because of um, drugs and alcohol. My rock bottom point was whenever I was waking up every day and I had to have something because I couldn't just cope with who I was. And then that pretty much led me to being homeless. I slept outside a few nights. Um, I was sleeping in a couple of bandit houses. My daughter was about two years old when um, I ended up getting incarcerated. And um, whenever I got out, she was uh, about three. And then um, it was probably a good year after that that I was using and in and then out, back and back forth from county jail or prison. Called my little sister and I said, hey, um, I need help. I need some type of long-term treatment. I was pretty much to the point where I knew that this was like going to be my, my last shot. Um, Whenever my little sister brought me to Veritas, uh, I remember walking in and I remember sitting in the pews and I was signing uh, the paperwork that I had to sign. And I was just bawling. I was in tears. Um, it was kind of like tears, of, like a relief. But at the same time, I knew that there was like going to be a lot of hard work that I had to put in. That first week, uh, it was pretty rough for me. Uh, I remember I'm like, why is everybody just so happy? I mean, like every, they keep on coming up, they're giving me hugs, tell me they love me. And uh, I'm like, why? I, I kind of put two and two together on why these men are all so excited to be around me. Uh, it wasn't until about, I'd like to say like halfway through my second week, I don't know, I just kept on looking around. And I, seen everybody else was happy. I kind of want to be happy too. The first time I got to see my daughter was in fourth phase. Uh, I had a, my first visit with her was like for about three hours. Yeah, I've never been so nervous in my life. I can't, I don't even remember looking at one of my close friends. I said, I can't believe uh, a girl that's only just this tall has got me as, ner as nervous as, a, as she does. Um, I had a good bunch of thoughts going through my head. Is she gonna want to be around me, you know? Does she even remember anything about me or anything? But um, as soon as I seen her, I uh, she came right up to me and gave me a hug. It's probably one of the proudest moments of my life too. It's whenever I felt like things was really starting to pay off. It seems like she gets a, just a little bit closer to me every single time I visit with her, which is really, which is really awesome. Romans eight twenty eight. And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and to those who are called according to His purpose for them. Um, that verse, what it means to me is it's just like no matter what's going on, all we got to do is continue to uh, love God and continue to strengthen our relationship with Him and everything else is going to work out no matter how bumpy the road looks. The refuge provides a safe place for them to just start over. Um, it provides a safe place for them to be able to fall, get back up. It provides a safe, uh, a safe place for them to be able to work on their relationship with Christ, get to know God. Also, it, there's a bunch of people that's trying to do the same thing as them, that they're going to help strengthen them and uh, build them up. There isn't like a time where like, if I'm going through something or if I'm struggling, like I can't pick up my phone and just call somebody that's gonna help walk me through that situation. And they're gonna do it out of the kindness of their heart, not because uh, I owe them anything or they owe me anything, it's just because they truly um, care.